Battle. Hi friends, today we're learning the alphabet. Of course, we have to start with the letter A. Apple starts with A. It looks like a tent with a line in the middle. Ta-da! Next, we have the letter B. I'll roll out some Play-Doh so we can make it, just like this. E has a long, straight back and two bumps in the front. What starts with B? Banana, that's right. Here's C. It's almost a circle, but the ends don't meet. So we have A, B, and C. The first three letters of the alphabet. Now we need to find the rest. Let's go! Oh look, it's our good friend Daddy Pig! And do you know what Daddy starts with, friends? Oh, I think I do. Daddy starts with the letter D. Ha! Donkey, dog, and dragon start with the letter D, too. To make a D, we'll need a long line for the back. And then a big curvy bit for the front. Good job, Daddy Pig. What letter is next, friends? Hmm, do you see a clue? There, it's an egg. And what does the word egg start with? That's right, the letter E. Yay! Look, our egg became an E, that's so cool. Can you make an E out of clay? It's one long line just like this. And three little lines that stick out on the side. It's even better with polka dots. <laughs> now we need something that starts with an F. Aha, there. There's a fish, and fish begins with the letter F. Isn't this big fish pretty? We'll use green Play-Doh to make the letter F. Now, one, two, three, snap. We're doing good, friends. Here are some cars waiting to be fixed. That means this building must be a garage. And what does the word garage begin with? G, of course. It's the next letter we're looking for. Vroom, vroom! Bam, and here's our G. It's like a C, but with an extra line right here. Hmm, what's next? Whoa, did you see that? Our house turned into an H, but why? Oh, that's right. It's because the word house starts with H. So cool. I think I can roll two lines at the same time. Can you do that? I did it. They go on either side with a smaller line here. Some extra lines for decoration are nice. Okay, which of these things starts with an I? Is it this? No, maybe this. Oh, you think it's ice cream, Emily? That's correct. Ice cream does start with the letter I. Here's what I looks like for oh so yummy ice cream. Hocus Pocus! Here comes some magic dough to make the eye with one, two, three lines. Amazing! Careful, friends, because jellyfish sting. Ow! Jellyfish starts with J. Look how pretty they are. Let me show you how to make a J, friends. I'll roll a long log really fast. Zippity zip, look at me go. I'll twist some orange and blue together. Now, I'll make it look neat. Look, friends, the J looks just like an upside-down candy cane. But we can't eat it. Help, help, it's gonna catch me, I'm so scared. Whoa, it's a lion. Mommy Pig has the car key. Watch out. Some more letters, but which ones are they? It's a K for key, an L for lion, and an M for Mommy Pig. Oink, oink. We'll make a K with some orange dough. And we can press in some dimples like this. Adding a small detail like this makes the K look fabulous. The letter K. And here's the L. Time for some magic. L is for love. The letter L. And here's our M. But it looks a little boring. I know what to do. I'll add some green to it. I'll chop, chop, chop it into tiny little pieces. Perfect. On it goes. Making our M. Marvelous. Zoom, zoom, it's a trailer. Maybe something's inside? Friends, that's an N. It's the next letter in the alphabet. Night and nose begin with the letter N. It's three lines. One, two, and three. Let's add some texture. This makes it more interesting, right? 
Now let's check inside the trailer. I see another letter. Oh, it's an O. O for orange and olive oil. It looks like a giant donut. I think I'll make a purple one. An O is a circle with a hole in the middle, see? Do you know where the next letter is, friends? Oh, there it is. I see it now. It's the letter P. Did someone say P? It's my favorite letter. P for pig. Oink. Pig begins with P. Ha ha. This P has some cool white stripes on it. I really like the way it looks. And you? Well, it's time for the car and trailer to go now. They helped us with our alphabet. Thanks. Ooh, a castle. I wonder who lives there. Oh, hello, friends. I'm the one who lives in the castle. I'm a queen. Wow. It must be amazing being a queen. I do enjoy it very much. <laughs> Wait a second. Did you say you're a queen? It's the next letter we were looking for. The letter Q. Q is like an O, but with a cute little tail. We need the rest now. The words quick and quiet also begin with the letter Q. What am I making? A big, bright, beautiful rainbow, of course. What does the word rainbow start with? Does anyone know? Correct. Rainbow starts with R. Whoa, isn't it stunning? Yes. R can be hard to make. It's a line, then a curve, and another line. It looks boring. Light blue dots to the rescue. I'd say that the letter R really looks rather rad. Watch out, Mr. Sheep. There's a hungry dinosaur on the loose. And look, that tiger doesn't seem very friendly too. He might want to eat you. But don't worry, I have a plan to keep you safe and sound. Abracadabra. Ha! Now Mr. Sheep is safe. Safe starts with S, and so does the word sheep. This letter reminds me of another animal that starts with S, a snake. It even looks like one slithering and sliding along the table. I'll take these two colors and twist them together. Round and round and round some more. With two bends, it fits perfectly into its place. And there's our letter, S. Here's that terrible tiger again. I hope he won't eat me. I only eat tacos. So it's the letter, T, for terrific taco-eating tigers. Let's make one, friends. Oh, this is easy. A T is just two straight lines. U for umbrella. Boom! And a V for this dino. He's a scary velociraptor. It's true. Velociraptor starts with the letter V. First, we'll make the U. I'll roll this play down nice and long. It looks like a smile, isn't it? I'll add a few dimples. There, it's a U for all of you. For the letter V, we need a shape like a bird's beak. One side will be pink, one side will be blue. Now, we must find something that starts with W. It's water. Water starts with a W. It looks like two V's pushed together. I can use three lines of dough. One, two, three. A long one here. I'll bend one here and place the last one here. Now I need to decorate it. I'll press in some diagonal lines. Our alphabet looks terrific, friends, but something needs to be added. We still need X, Y, and Z. I just don't know what to do. Oh, here they are, we found them. We need to hurry before our time together ends. X is for X-ray, and we need two straight lines that cross in the middle to make it. Ooh, let's add green dots. That's such a lovely X. Y for yell and yolk and yes. Here's the top bit and here's the bottom bit. And finally, Z, the last letter of the alphabet. Zoo starts with Z. Oh, zebra also begins with a Z. I'll twist pink and blue together. I'll make it nice and tight so they don't come apart. Zippity zap, we've made a Z. And it's the best looking Z that I ever did see. Awesome. It's the whole alphabet we've got here. Thank you, friends, for all your help today. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more fun playdates. Bye!